Hey guys and welcome to this video. So in this video we want to fill in a truth table to prove that the following logical expression is a tautology, which means that the logical expression just equates to true. All right, and here we have the logical expression in purple. It says not Q and R implies P or Q, which implies P. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we have down here is our truth table in blue. And we're just going to fill out these values to um, hopefully see that this last column all has true in all the rows. Okay, so let's get started. First, we're going to do all the possible values for P, which would be true, and then true, and true, and true. So I'm doing T for true, and then I'm going to do F for, for false. So we have F. F, F, and F. Okay, and now let's see all the possible values for the Q. So we get true, true, false, false, true, true, false, and false. And now for R, we're going to basically alternate between our two Boolean uh, values. So uh, we get true, false, true, false, true, false, true, and false. Okay, and now this right here, or that method, uh, make sure that none of our rows are non-unique. So each row is unique. You won't see the exact same uh, Boolean variables in every row. All right, so that's just setting up, uh, setting up our truth table. So now let's look at this expression here. So we get not Q and R, now, th this column here was created from this expression up here in the overall logical expression. You can see that we basically just broke it up into slices so that we can make it easier to solve that last column. All right. So here we get our not Q and R. So not Q would be, tr uh, not Q would be false because Q is true. So not true is false. So we get false and R. So false and anything is always false. So we don't have to worry about R. So this will be false anywhere Q is true. So false, false, false and false. All right, now we get an R. So uh, the other places are where Q will equate to true. So wherever it's false here, it'd be not false, which is true. So we get true and whatever R is. So now, um, we only have to look for R values that are true to make it true. So R here is true. So we get true. Um, R here is true. So we get true. And then anywhere R is false, of course, the overall statement is going to be false. So false here and R is false here. Okay. So not bad. Next up, we have our expression P or Q, which comes from over here. So anytime P or Q is true, our overall expression is going to be true. So here in the first four columns, P is true. So our first four columns is going to be true. So true, 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 and true. And now we're going to look for the, uh, the Boolean expression where Q is true. So true, uh, Q is true here. And Q is true there. And then uh, we have false or false and then false or false. So these other two values are just false. Okay. And it looks like I actually put this column twice by accident. So sorry about that. Um, we don't need this column at all. We just not did that over here. So I'm just going to put a line through here. So we don't need that other column. Okay. Now we get P or Q implies P. All right, so we already have our P or Q value here. So P or Q is true. So it's saying true implies P. So let me show you something here. There is a, a law that says uh, P implies Q is logically equivalent to not P or Q. So in this case, we have 
our P being, um, our P is, is a P or Q, and it implies P. So we get not P or Q. So not P or Q or P. Okay? And so we can use this to uh, fill out our table. So basically, anywhere P is true, this overall expression, no matter what this side equates to, is going to be true. So that means that the first four rows are going to be true. And now we have to look at this P or Q expression here. So wherever um, P or Q is false, then not P or Q will be true. So we just look over here to the left, and we can see that we get two false variables here. So we know that these last two rows are going to be true. And then um, here we get true, so that's going to be false, true, it's going to be false. And then our P, of course, in those two, um, in those two rows is false as well. So, of course, our value here will be false. All right. Okay. And then here we get our full expression. So, let's look here again. We're going to have not Q not Q and R implies uh, P or Q, which implies P. So this just equates to not, not Q and R or P or Q implies P. All right. And so again, we want all of this to be true. If this is truly a tautology. We want this column here to all be true. All the rows in this column to be true. All right. So basically, anytime this expression here is true, our overall expression, no matter what this left side here is, will always be true. So we can just look at our last column and look wherever the values are true and we can put true. So we get true, true. Uh, true and true and then we get true and true so the only ones we need to look at now the only row is uh, these two rows so now we need to look where we have not Q and R and wherever that is false our overall statement is going to be true so let's look in our not Q and R and go down to these two rows and both of these are false so not false is true so both of these will be True. So we're going to put true here and true here. And now we have shown that this uh, logical expression is a tautology. You can see all the truths there. So um, thank you guys. That's pretty much it. Uh, sorry about this column here. I guess I just uh, copied it twice. But other than this one column here, the truth table would have all the rest of these columns. And this is basically how you would solve it. So Thanks as always watching guys. Uh, please leave likes, comments, questions. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Th again, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.